Okay, Vortex, so somebody at church asked me a question today, and I thought that I would address it musically, because that's what we do. Um, if you're not familiar with this channel, we do a lot of unconventional things, like play music in the car, um, just because we want to. There's really no other reason. Uh, let's see if I can rest you up there on the dashboard. They won't be making a clicky sound, but that happens. Uh, I don't have a smartphone, I have a camcorder. I don't believe in smartphone technology, it's satanic. So, um, I had that opinion long before I became a, a born again religious nut job. So. Most Christians have smartphones because they don't know what's going to be done. Uh, okay. What chord was I playing? So uh, this person asked me how I deal with chronic depression. So it's not a problem. When you look at things like, I gotta fix this, and I gotta throw this away, because it's inconvenient for me, it'll probably never go away. Damn it! It's bothering me. Most of my 
gender has no problem with this whatsoever because they're of the world and most people are of the world most people choose Satan and they don't know it they don't know it That's wrong, but it's not their fault. But they were raised in a society that encourages this. And they didn't do anything to challenge it. Because those of us that stand up, yeah, those of us that act tough, those of us that say, no, no, I'm not going the way you go be reprimanded. We'll always be ridiculed. That's fine. Because I know I'm in God's hands. True. They don't have that confidence of walking with God. When you walk with God, it doesn't matter what people think about it. And, um, This friend of mine, he also has a flip phone. Uh, we were talking about just how, how easy it is to control people. And uh, influence their behavior through uh, technological means. And unfortunately, you don't have enough people questioning that. Like looking around and going, Maybe we don't need all the stuff we think we need. Maybe we should, like, not be so reliant on these things. I mean, first world luxuries come with first world problems that aren't actual problems in the non-industrialized society. So, It's like we insist on all these luxuries, but they just kill us a little bit, you know? Whereas, it's like we just worked a little harder. I mean, I'm living proof of this, just, just mentally. Just mentally, emotionally, psychologically. Like, I'm living proof that you can eat the fruits of your labor and you can offer that fruit to other people if you're willing to do the work on yourself, you know? And I've had enough people come up to me and ask me these questions like how do you deal with this so well Amy? mean how how do you cry all the time and not kill yourself because <laughs> um, I don't think it's a problem stop treating it like it's a problem eventually it won't be treat it like it's a problem it'll be a problem forever because whatever it is that's underlying the surface, that's still gonna be there until you can accept the fact that you are flawed, accept the fact that you are not happy, accept the fact that you are not right, accept the fact that you are not satisfied with what you have or what you don't have. Whenever you can accept your state of mind, you'll be fine. I heard somebody say this in an AA meeting a long time ago. Like some crusty old timer. Was like, you know when it gets better? It gets better whenever it's fine just the way it is. <laughs> and I remember thinking that guy was an asshole. It turns out he was fucking right. <laughs>